And this is just the black parents, black parents, okay? When you, when you got kids and your kids start playing sports, specifically in high school, like, like 10th, 11th, 12th grade, um, listen, black parents, um, I just ask you guys, please, please be easy on the heckling, okay, when you're at the games, especially when you're playing the all white schools. We don't need the help, we got it, okay? <laughs> Because I remember when I, when I was in high school, I went to high school, we didn't have a lot of black guys on my high school. And then my basketball team, we had no black guys on my basketball team, right? And every year, we had to play, play this one all-black high school. They were in our conference. We had to play them twice, right? And we knew we weren't going to beat them. We knew it, you know? I mean, when the schedule came out, we had 20 games. Our goal was 18-2. and two. It was never 20-0 and because we knew Dunbar was coming at some point, right? So I remember my senior year, right? <laughs> We're getting ready. It's early in the season. Dunbar had to come to our school first. So we're just doing our layup lines, getting ready for the game. Dunbar pulled up, got off the bus, came in the gym. I swear to God, everybody on Dunbar could dunk. Everyone, the whole fucking team could dunk. Hell, we stopped doing layups and just start watching. We was like, damn. Everybody on their team can dunk. He's a sophomore. I remember our coach brought us in, you know, got us in the huddle. Come on, guys, we can win. I'm like, no, the fuck we can't, coach. This ain't Hoosiers. We ain't got no Jimmy Chitwood on the squad. I just remember the game starts, right? The game starts, and one of the dads came down from Dunbar, and he was in my team's ass the whole game. This is all my team heard for the first three quarters of the game. He's south, Rodney. 26 is south. He's south, Rodney. 26 is south. I'm looking around like, who the fuck is 26 on the team, right? I look down. Oh, shit, I'm 26. <laughs> this motherfucker's heckling me. He's south, Rodney. 26 is south. I'm just trying to shoot a free throw. Right? Fourth quarter comes, we down by like 35, 36. Coach Fine takes me out the game. I'm sitting on the bench. Rodney's dad's still in my ass. I told you, Rodney, he's soft. 26 is soft. I'm not in the game anymore, sir. <laughs> my own team was blaming me, you know? They're like, what'd you say, Gary? I didn't say shit. I had three points. I don't know who the fuck. We gonna need some help. So, you know, we still had to go play them later on the season, right? You know, I did not want to go. I did not want to go to Dunbar. Had nothing to do with the players on the team or the school. I didn't want to see Rodney dad again, you know? So I asked the coach when we got on the bus, I was like, hey coach, can I switch numbers this game? Can I switch numbers? I, I don't want to be 26 this game, right? So the coach let me switch my number. We go up to Dunbar, I'm 52, I'm number 52, right? Game starts. I could see Rodney's dad in the stands looking for 26. Couldn't find him. He was just sitting there. <laughs> Second quarter came. Motherfucker, he figured it out. I heard him. He was like, oh, oh, he weak, Rodney. 52 weak. He tried to trick us. 52 weak. He tried to trick us. Fuck it, coach. I quit. I can't. I can't. I should have wrestled. I don't know I'm out here. I'm averaging three points a game. What the fuck? To this day, I don't know who the fuck Rodney was, you know? I'm from Ohio, so anytime I'm in Ohio and a black dude comes up to me, hey, what's up, Gary? I'm Rodney. Hold hey, got some chocolate. I'm a God. I got some shit. I want to get off my chest before we exchange these pleasantries.